Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to episode one of Caracal Computing. In this series, I will be documenting my progress in any software projects I happen to be working on at the time, primarily focusing on video games. About six months ago, I made the decision to begin working on a first-person shooter, tentatively titled The Cubes of Saturn. Not only would this be the first 3D game I've ever made, but it's also turned out to be the largest and possibly the most fun project I've ever worked on. So I set to work. Instead of using a game engine like Unity or Unreal, I chose to write the engine myself in C, using a modified version of Raylib to handle graphics, audio, and player input. A pre-made engine would speed up the development process significantly, but the DIY option allows me to view and control everything that happens under the hood. Shortly after beginning this project, I thought of recording a devlog, but six months have passed since then, so there's quite a lot of ground to cover. Step 1. Create a 3D space for the player to move around in, and of course, give the player a gun. I decided this game would consist of cubes because it simplifies the math significantly, and more importantly, because I like Minecraft. A lot. This brings us to step two, write a mesh generator. This is pretty straightforward. It takes an array of bytes, which define the type of each block in the level, and from that it generates a single mesh for the entire level. Only the faces of the blocks that can possibly be seen by the player are added to the mesh. Any face that borders a solid block is simply omitted. Step 3. Make the level interactable. The player is given an axis-aligned bounding box. Since the game is built on a grid system, we can apply some simple math to detect which grid spaces are occupied by the player. If any of those spaces are also occupied by a solid block, then a collision has occurred. At this point, the game currently lacks something that is absolutely essential for a first-person shooter. That being, step four, shooting. Now, finally, the player can fire bullets. I opted for projectiles instead of hit scans because I think they look cooler. Now that the player is able to shoot things, we come to step 5. Things to shoot at. At this point, the enemies are just hitboxes that run straight at you, but they're better than nothing. Step 6. Give the enemies physics. Now, the enemies are able to collide with the environment and with each other, and they know when to jump when necessary. This allows them to pile up on top of each other and follow the player wherever they may go. And this brings us to step 7. Add some sound and visual effects so that it actually starts to feel like a game. And aside from various tweaks and optimizations that I've been working on while also writing this script, that is where the game currently stands. Seeing the cubes pile on top of each other like this gave me an idea. I will throw giant clusters of cubes at the player in increasingly difficult waves. There's nowhere the player can hide. These cubes can crawl and jump and climb anywhere that the player can. If you want to live, you have to keep running and gunning non-stop. Will you survive or will you be consumed into the cubes of Saturn? Until next time, this has been Caracal Computing. Thanks for watching.